Hardly is there any more popular concept in astrophysics than a black hole. You may think you've heard everything there is to know. Check my list of 5 facts that are not that common. Black hole is a region of space that nothing, even light, can escape from. The boundary of this region is called event horizon. For a non-rotating spherical black hole, this is defined by Schwarzschild radius. As you can see, it is proportional to the mass of the object, so for the Earth to be a black hole, it has to be shrinked down to 1 cm. Apparently, the density of this object is beyond imagination. But if we take a supermassive black hole with a mass of up to several billion solar masses, these kind of holes presumably exist in centers of galaxies, its average density can be as low as the air density. Please note, this is an average density. In addition, the tidal forces in the vicinity of the event horizon of such a massive black hole are significantly weaker. A freefall observer wouldn't even notice that he had passed the point of no return, while the fall to the singularity could last for hours. After realizing his inevitable fate, in the moment of panic he could fire the engines at full thrust, pointing the rocket outward. But that would only decrease his lifetime inside the hole, due to the relativistic time dilation. You may find on the internet that the best way to prolong your life inside the black hole is to do nothing at all. However, it was shown that the best strategy is to fire your rocket for a fixed amount of time, then turn it off and enjoy the rest of the fall. Besides that black holes are not black because of all the matter that fall and swirl around it, even in empty space they are still not black due to the Hawking radiation. Well, at least hypothetically. Contrary to popular belief, vacuum is not an empty space. It boils up with the form of virtual particles. Particle and antiparticle appear for a short period of time. It's like they borrow energy for a very small period of time allowed by the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. If there is no external energy source, they annihilate and disappear. But what will happen if these two virtual particles appear near the event horizon? One of them is doomed to be sucked inside, the other has no other way but to appear. Where did the energy come from? No other source but the black hole itself. Effectively, it has lost some mass to produce that particle. The fact that black hole emits particles means that effectively it has some non-zero temperature. This implies black hole has an entropy like any other thermodynamical system. In thermodynamics, two main characteristics are temperature and entropy. To understand entropy, let's take a look at this vessel with some gas. Temperature is the indicator of the mean speed of the molecules. On the other hand, every molecule of the gas as a quantum particle possesses a set of all possible quantum microstates. We can calculate the number of possible microstates of all these molecules Take a logarithm of it, and that would be entropy. What is extremely weird is that entropy of black hole is proportional to the area of the event horizon, meaning proportional to the square, while every other body in the universe has an entropy proportional to its volume, meaning cube. Remember that Schwarzschild equation? Let's take the mass of our universe and see what size a black hole with that mass would be. Now let's take the real size of our universe, which is around 45 billion light years. The gravitational radius is bigger than the geometrical. Are we living inside a black hole? Well, no, that's just silly. Or is it?